So the reviews for Thor Love and Thunder are mixed to say the very least. Some people like it, some people hate it, some people think it's a hot mess, and some people think, you know what, it's just meh. Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. I'm Robert Storms. If you guys are finding me for the very first time, please do me a favor, smash that like and subscribe button. So we're going to talk about the box office for Thor Love and Thunder, and it came in opening weekend at $143 million worldwide well worldwide domestically anyway and when we click on the actual number it's at 302 302 million worldwide so that's not bad at all for its opening weekend like i said came in at 143 million which is under the the opening weekend numbers for doctor strange by about 40 or so doctor strange came in domestically on its opening weekend with 187.4 million dollars but you have to understand that the reason why doctor strange came in with more than thor love and thunder was one Doctor Strange was supposed to introduce the multiverse, and there was a lot of speculations of what was going to happen in that movie. People were thinking Tony McGuire was going to show up, and, and Ghost Rider, and every type of character from Marvel's past people thought was going to show up in Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness, where Thor Love and Thunder didn't really have that hype. And to be honest with you, there was a lot of backlash going into Thor Love and Thunder because there are a small minority of people out there that felt like this was just going to be a stepping stone to bring in a female character to take over the Thor character, which if you've seen the movie, you know that is not actually the case. This is actually Thor's movie. So that wasn't the case whatsoever whatsoever in terms of what people were thinking but like i said the reviews for this movie has kind of been scattered shot and there's a lot of people that really dislike the movie a lot of people that like the movie and then you got the people in the middle where sort of where i sit where i'm like it, it's okay it's not it's not the best thing i've ever seen it's not the worst thing i've ever seen it's more of a meh type movie i give it like a six to six five it, it's a slightly better than average movie in my opinion and i think the box office numbers over the next couple of weeks will end up reflecting exactly how the audience feels because the 143 is basically everybody wanting to go out there and see it right away let's see how well the movie does the following week and then the following week where doctor strange stayed pretty steady for the most part, let's see how Thor Love and Thunder does because I don't know if it's going to get that repeat viewing. I, I know me personally, I'm not going to go back to the theater and see this again. I might give it a secondary watch when it hits Disney+. Plus. And I think a lot of people have seen the negative backlash on this movie. Uh, a lot of the stuff that people are saying, some of the mixed reviews and all that stuff, I think people are looking at those and a lot of people are just saying, hey, you know what, we're just going to wait for it to come out on Disney Plus. You know, we're not going to go to the theater and spend, you know, $25, $30 for seats and then concessions and all that stuff and then end up paying like 70, 80 bucks just to go to a movie when it's getting mixed reviews and people are like, "Nah, I'm not going to do that." Right now, if you go over to Rotten Tomatoes, it's sitting at 68% fresh. It's a fresh rating and that's a critic rating and an 81% great rating for audience so what that tells me is when it comes to critics that almost seven out of ten critics say hey it's it's a decent movie go check it out and then eight out of ten of the audience people people that are coming out of the theater that are seeing this are saying hey it's worth going to see now they're not saying it's the greatest thing it's they're not saying it's the worst thing they're just telling you hey it's worth going to see so you got seven people seven critics saying hey it's worth going to see, and then you have eight audience members out of ten that are saying, "Hey, it's worth going to see." So that that's really good news. It, it, it's it's getting mixed reactions from people in my circles, but it looks like the average people on the street are still having a great time. They they find the movie enjoyable, funny, humorous, and like I said, 143 opening weekend is a pretty good number considering those mixed reviews, as well as the kind of the backlash going into the movie thinking that oh this is just gonna be uh the the w w w what do, what do people call it guys the mcu now the mcu everything's all fe mcu now guys i feel like i have like a lisp the mcu 
you know. But um, that, if you see the movie, that's not the case. Like, like it, it's not MCU. It, it's one hundred percent Chris Hemsworth's movie. But um, yeah. Again, it, it's a mix. It's a mixed bag. And I thought one hundred forty three opening weekend was really good considering it didn't have that hype like Doctor Strange did. Everybody and their mama was hyping up Doctor Strange. It was like, oh man, everybody's gonna have their own cameo in this movie. It's gonna be crazy. Wesley Snipes is gonna come out and just start. And none of that happened. So that's why <laughs> Doctor Strange had such a big number. But anyway, guys, that's all I have. I wanna know what you guys think. Be sure to leave your comments in the comment box below. Smash that like and subscribe button. And until next time, I'm she you guys. I'm she. You guys say she when you say she you guys. Later.